Upload your doubts on the app to get video solutions. A car starts from rest with acceleration alpha. Acceleration of the car is alpha and then retards to rest with uh, retardation beta on a straight line such that the total time of the journey is capital T. The distance covered by the car during this journey you have to find. So if the car is starting from rest, right? So initial velocity is what? Zero. Let's figure out what is the maximum velocity it goes before it go into retardation. So V max will be how much? Let's call it as final. Let's call V uh, final as V max maximum velocity it goes. So using the equation of motion, V will be equals to U plus AT, correct? So V is how much? V max and that is equals to what is U? 0, A, alpha and time T1 because we don't know for what time it has gone into acceleration. So time T1. Now after it reaches V max, maximum velocity, it starts decelerating. So what will be the initial velocity now? It will be V max. What is the final velocity? It is going to zero because it's stopping as per the question. And what is the retardation now? So acceleration A will be minus beta because it's a retardation, correct? Now let's reuse this equation and find the time for which it is gone into that situation. So V will be equals to U plus AT and V is how much? Zero and U is how much? V max. A is how much? Minus beta let's take this beta t2 on the other side so beta t2 will be equals to v max so these are the two equations now they are saying uh, the total time of the journey the total time total time of the journey is how much capital t and that will be equals to how much? T1 plus T2. And what is T1 from equation 1? It is V max, maximum velocity, whole divided by alpha plus, what is our T2? V max upon beta. Correct. So we can say that time T will be equals to taking V max common out, 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta and cross multiplying it will be v max beta plus alpha upon alpha beta that's our relation between t and v max correct this is our equation number one or let's call it as equation number two or three whatever you want to call it okay so this will be our equation another equation now we have to find the total distance covered right so we will make use of another equation of motion our equation of motion will be v square minus u square equal to 2as in the during the first half when it was accelerated let's see how much distance it covered so v is nothing but v max whole square initial velocity is 0 and 2 alpha s1 so during the acceleration part it calculated s1 which is v max square upon 2 alpha okay this is equation one again okay so let's call it as equation one now next is our retardation part so retardation part means v square minus u square equals to again 2 a s what is v zero because it is stopping what is u v max square and alpha a is what beta two times minus beta because it's in deceleration part and it is distance s2 okay so let me just remove this it is our how much s2 so our distance s2 negative sign we can cancel out both the sides s2 is nothing but v max square whole divided by twice of beta correct so what will be the total distance now so total distance will be s that will be equal to s1 plus s2 and what is s1 v max square upon twice of alpha plus v max square whole divided by twice of beta now we can take v max square common so total distance will be v max square common and what we left with let's see we left with 1 by 2 alpha plus 1 by twice of beta correct and now here what is v max 
v max from our previous equation okay we can substitute here in terms of t this equation okay so that we will substitute within a minute so v max square will be equal i am taking two also common here v max square divided by 2 this will become beta plus alpha whole divided by alpha beta cross multiplication and now let's write v max value so what is v max value let me write over here only so this gives us v max is nothing but time t into alpha beta upon alpha plus beta this is our v max value let's substitute it in our next part so this is time t into how much alpha beta divided by alpha plus beta whole square multiplied with beta plus alpha or alpha plus beta upon alpha beta so if it's a whole square one of them will cancel out and we left with half t square alpha beta alpha beta one of them cancels out one left alpha beta upon left with alpha plus beta so this is our maximum distance traveled by that object so which is option uh, d no not d it's option b alpha beta t square upon twice of alpha beta watch the complete playlist on the app pions download the app now